There is a small but mighty new feature released in Winter 24 that has gone largely unnoticed despite how nifty it is. Intelligence View for leads and contacts is a great way for users to simply and easily identify prospects and customers that need attention. This will save them time with less need to wade through every lead or contact and they can also take action directly from the lead or contact tab. Fewer clicks, happy users. Once enabled via setup, Lead Intelligence View and Contact Intelligence View display useful activity metrics on the lead and contact tabs. Previously, these only displayed list views. Let's take a look at how to set this up and the metrics included. First up, let me show you just how simple it is to get started. Simply type Intelligence View in the Quick Find box in Setup and you'll see one option for leads and one option for contacts. For each object, enable Intelligence View and be sure to add the button so that users can access the view as well. So that took all of about five seconds, right? Let's check out the impact on the front end. From the Leads tab, click Intelligence View. You'll now see a bunch of cool new stuff. From the intelligence view, you can see important metrics about your leads as well as filter your leads and complete reach out actions right from the leads tab. You can also access other actions such as edit and delete from here. If you want to see even more detailed information for specific records, you can click on the side panel icon next to the record name. At any time, you can quickly switch back to the original view by clicking the list view button. How do you interpret the metrics? Great question. Let's review them. Metrics for leads include total leads, the total number of leads that meet your filter criteria, no activity, leads with no completed activities, idle, leads with past activity but no completed activities in the last 30 days, no upcoming, leads with recently completed activity but no future activity scheduled, overdue, leads with activities that are overdue, due today, leads with activities that are due today upcoming. Leads with activities due in the next 30 days. Contacts follow the exact same process. From the Contacts tab, click Intelligence View. From the Intelligence View, quickly see useful metrics about your contacts, filter the contacts you want to see, and speed up getting in touch with your contacts by using the actions such as email or call. Again, to see more detailed information for specific records, you can click on the side panel icon next to the record name. And don't forget, it's really easy to switch back to the original view by clicking the list view button. There are similar metrics for contacts. These include total contacts, the total number of contacts that meet your filter criteria, no activity, contacts with no completed activities. Idle, contacts with past activity, but no completed activities in the last 30 days. No upcoming, contacts with recently completed activity, but no future activities scheduled. Overdue, contacts with activities that are overdue. Due today, contacts with activities that are due today. Upcoming, contacts with activities due in the next 30 days. Don't feel bad if you missed this new feature. I'm surprised that Salesforce hasn't made a bigger deal about it as I'm sure it's going to prove to be a very valuable and popular tool. Once set up, don't forget to send a memo to your users so they fully understand the metrics being presented to them and how to make the most of them. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben.